Hello world, Shotgun here, back with another video. Now I've been getting a lot of these ads tempting me to join the security unit. It's been everywhere, my Facebook, my Instagram, um, Twitter, whatever I use, um, it's right there. Now if you want to do one of the units with these guys, I think digital marketing would be a really good one because they pretty much know what they're doing. See, this, they're slapping this ad everywhere. Um, there's that one, the cyber security one. Now this one's EH Academy. Uh, what else? Which is pretty much a legit source, um, as I know. And uh, there are heaps of these. Um, graduate certificate in cybersecurity. Now, so a couple of these are from a university because these ad might have been targeted to me. Uh, but now these ads are really tempting. Like, not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, so I might actually purchase one of these bundle and show you guys what's inside it. Now, right off the bat, I just want to let you guys know that this is not going to be detailed review. Because I won't be able to, you know, go through all the unit uh, at once. So this is going to be a first glance review, you know, nothing too detailed. What I think about it, the uses, and what I think about the unit, just the initial review sort of thing. But yeah, so this is the one that I'm going to look into today. So this one's called eSkill Academy. It was on my Facebook. It says 41 information security and cyber security courses master's bundle just for $49 for the last three days. Um, now, last three days is pretty much... <laughs> which I've been getting for the last three months probably. But um, on this video, there's 1.7K comments, 301 shares. Now, a lot of these comments seems to be coming from India, Nigeria. Now, I'm in Australia, but I'm getting these ads as well. And a lot of people are curious, like, are these courses well recognized? Is a lab available? Um, what, what else? Um, is a trial available? Um, yeah, there's heaps of questions. Actually, I'm actually go to this website purchase one of these bundles so that you guys don't have to do it um well you might have to do it if you want to do it um uh, but just to show you guys what's in there i'm actually purchase a bundle um i don't know i might regret it but <laughs> now this is the website eSkills academy the eSkills academy site is pretty clean compared to a couple of others uh which sort of seems you know uh, a bit dodgy but um i'm not saying they are dodgy but it's just the just the website they have um, now they have a lot of this bundle, digital marketing, which seems to be working. Yeah, web dev, graphic design, uh, cyber security, and a lot of these. And these are the ones that we're looking at. These ones are called exclusive discount bundles, and they've got heaps of these packages. But what I want to um, point to is, look at this. It says appreciated and recognized by industry's best institution, but it doesn't have any hyperlink that leads me to one of these things. And even if I Google it up, um, I can't really find the link. So if you guys are from eSkill Academy, you include one of these uh, things with a hyperlink so that we can, you know, click on this and then see if it's actually appreciated and recognized by industry-based institutions. But yeah, now it says it's from Canada um, and it says four years of rich experience. Now we can do like a bit of a um, look up to see what's going on there. Um, just to know about a little bit about the website. Yep, yep, yep. So it seems to be from the United States. I think it's protected. Let's see here. So it was created in 2013. 12, 12. It's not been that long. 2013. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, right. Um, so it was changed in 2021, 528. Um, four years of rich expertise. Righto. And we can see the reviews, but most of them are pretty good about the website, but then it's not the Google review or Facebook review, it's just their, their website review. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what to expect. Um, so at the end of the course, they're meant to give you the certification um, that looks something like this, which I wouldn't necessarily do the unit first certification. This doesn't mean anything to me. Um, I'm just expecting to get something productive out of that 47 or $49 that they have. Um, now let's just go into these um, courses. So this is not the one that I want to try. Is that the one? Uh, complete cyber security. Hold on. It's 41 professional courses. This is 28 courses. This is 21 courses. Okay, so we'll go with the 47 one. Now this thing, don't really worry about it. Even if you visit after, I don't know, two or three months, it's going to be there. It's going to say the same thing. So the bundle was supposed to be 3168 and $49. Now let's be real. Um, now I can't really go through 300 plus hours of content in like a couple of days, alright? So this mega bundle has pretty much everything. 
Um, they've got CompTIA, Cloud Server, uh, Pentest Plus, Security Plus. I'm planning to take a Security Plus. Now, I did um, text them on Facebook. So I did text them asking, hi, is there like a demo content that I can use to um, access to see if I want to sign up for the course? And they said, oh, we're afraid. We do not offer any sample or previews. You can check the course content um, only once you enroll. On top of that, they also added, oh, we do offer a 100% money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied with the course. So it is completely safe for you to enroll. Now, is the CompTIA courses included in CompTIA bundle? That's what I asked them. Um, and I also asked them, is your CompTIA module, is it enough for me to pass the CompTIA exam without needing to go through any other resources? And to which they replied, yeah, they are enough for you to pass the CompTIA exam and courses are included in the security bundle. Now, for this video, what I'll try to do, I won't be able to do it in this video because let's be, let's be real, as I said before, I'm um, 300 hours of content, I can't really go through that. And CompTIA sort of takes, um, you know, quite a time uh, in order to go through all the contents. Um, I've never done any certification beside the CCNA. Now, this is the first certification that I'm going to take, and I'm, and I'm only going to use the content from this website and let you guys know, is it actually worth buying it? Uh, but for now, what I can do is I can purchase the course and show you guys what's inside it. Right, so it was meant to be 3119 now it's $49, which is USD. Um, yeah, so let's give him my email address. No, I don't want to receive the instructional and promotional email. Yeah, no, I don't. Don't want to do it. Hang on tight, we're processing your payment. This may take up to 30 seconds. And one last steps. And there you go. It says, thanks for enrolling into the Master of Information System and Cybersecurity at East Coast Academy. You'll receive an email confirmation shortly. Right. So I've, since I've already purchased the course, um, I want to go through the CompTIA Security Plus course for now. I can't go to every single courses. Um, and I'll try to take a CompTIA Security Plus certification. And if I have any question, I'll try emailing them. We'll see how responsive they are, how quickly they respond to my questions. Um, how's their you know, learning platform? Um, is it any good? How the course content now to give you a little bit uh, background about my study what level am i on this information security stuff now i did my bachelor in computing and information system uh, which was on a degree um, and i have a master's in networking and cyber security even though i don't really work on networking or cyber security um, and i've never done any certification beside the ccna so this is going to be my first certification okay there you go confirm your account Go to courses, radio. Fingers crossed. Now, in total, that was almost seventy dollars for me, because um, I'm in Australia. But yeah, let's let's go in them. Uh, zero percent complete. Um, what? Wow. Okay, this is overwhelming. Now, um, I'll just show you the basics. Um, what's inside? Um, all right, let's go in there about this bundle. Welcome to this 41 Masters of University Security, um, Systems and Cyber Security. Um, go from beginner to advanced, follow this, the course is handpicked to ensure this. Uh, for any assistance, feel free to do this. Okay, right. Wow, okay. How to proceed. Uh, register yourself at Teachable Portal and sign into your account. I think I've already done that one, isn't it? Courses, step two. Uh, go to the page. Alrighty. So these are the courses that I'm enrolled into since it says 0% on every single one of these. Um, resume course, okay, I don't really need the certifications and resumes. Um, okay, righto. Um, let's go into, so I don't think it allows me to skip the course. Um, I reckon pretty much straight up go into the CompTIA Security Plus certification. Start. So I'll just do like a bit of a preview uh, so that you guys, I don't think they'll be too happy if I do the whole thing on the YouTube, but yeah, I'll go through a lo little bit of a course unit. In this series, we're going to be looking at an Excel CompTIA's vendor neutral certification exam known as Security Plus. Now, I'm not going to go through all the units and stuff, but yeah, um... 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through a couple of these units and then come back later and tell you guys what do I think about this course. So I played around this uh, thing for about 15 minutes, um, give or take roughly. Now, when I said I'll just navigate straight through the um, ComTIA Security Plus, um, that sort of didn't work for me because there's a bit of a prerequisite that is expected when you take the unit for the Security Plus. In order to make sure that my Security Plus makes sense, I'll have to go through a couple of these things. Uh, which is sort of time consuming, which I don't really like. The lecture seems to be alright. I was really skeptical about it. Um, the lecture seems to be alright. It's beginner friendly. Um, it teaches you basic concept. It starts from basic concept. But the thing is, some of them are like really updated and some of them are kind of outdated. Now, I'm on the social engineering cyber tax and it says practice too using Kali Backtrack. Now Backtrack is the old distro that's from 2013. Um, there's no support for Backtrack anymore. Every single person I know have either switched to Kali or a Parrot. So Backtrack 5 is pretty old distro. I was surprised that it was still included in this one. But yeah, um, I can't really tell what's going on in like 15 minutes of my uses of this website but what i can tell you guys is um is it beginner friendly yes it is um is it worth it it's for you to decide but i haven't gone through every single thing so i can't really tell you guys um how detailed it is are the lectures clear yes it is really clear um they explain the things and concept in a really good way now the people teaching these units pretty much know what they are talking about and it is really clear. Now, if you're only after certification, there's an easy way to do it. So all you have to do is just complete and continue and then it marks the course as complete. Now, if you're only after certification, which I don't really understand why, um, you can also do it. It's just like an Udemy or EDX, but the only difference is they don't really have a quiz. So, so far, I haven't encountered any quizzes or multiple question uh, answer, which I sort of like. My thoughts on this one, it is pretty good so far. The contents I've gone through is pretty good. As I told you, um, some of them are outdated, do whatever you want to do with that information. But I might actually do another video in uh, probably in like a month, letting you guys know what I think about um, the whole eSkills Academy courses. So stay tuned for my another video. Now, if this video end up helping you in any way, please consider subscribing. Just like the video, comment on the video if you want to ask any more questions and I'll try to answer all the questions because the eSchool Academy don't really seem to answer the questions in Facebook. Um, so if you have any question on this one, just let me know and I'll try to answer the question. Um, in the meantime, keep being awesome. Happy pen testing. See you guys later.